What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to use the tethering function in Darktable. Tethering can come in handy where you're in a studio environment with a model, the lights, everything is set and you really want to see if your images are turning out great. So you place your model, you've got your lights, you set up the tethering, then you click, then the image has been taken and then you can view it on your laptop screen or on your 4K monitor or whatever monitor you have to really see if you've nailed the focus, if something is out of focus, if something else is wrong with the image and then make adjustments accordingly. So without further ado, let's get behind the computer. And this is the starting point of dark table. You're in the light table menu right now. Last week I showed you guys how to use this menu. And now we are going to click on here and we are going to place it on tethering. But now dark table says no camera with tethering support available for use. If that's the prompt that you're getting, you need to do the following. First, you're going to Google. You're going to type in Zadig. Then you click this link right here, zadig.akeo.ie And then you are going to download it and it will download a file and I'm going to show you guys how that looks right now. This is how it looks. You're going to options, list all devices and then here it says my GH5. It'll have a different driver over here and it'll say win USB version 6 point something over here. Then you're going to click reinstall driver and everything will go automatically. I already did this so that's why this is saying win USB. And after you've done that you're going back to dark table. You're going to choose tethering and then you have the tethering menu. Now the menu consists of different kinds of things. Uh, on the left the image information which we won't be going in today you've got a session so you can uh, create a new session i'll show you guys where the session is in a minute you've got the live view menu and you can't change anything in it or i can't with the gh5 maybe you can with your camera if you've got a different camera same goes for the camera settings but i'll go back to this menu in a minute and you've got the metadata editor you can fill in things like title description creator publisher and rights like copyrights and then the final one is the tagging one so for this what you want to do is you want to open up the camera settings so I've made sure the focus is on point and the thing that you're going to do right now is you're going to click this button right here which says capture image and there you heard my camera now we wait a minute and there you have it this is the image that I've just taken I've got it set to JPEG and RAW so it takes two images let me take another one by clicking this button again and there you have it. So now I've got four images, two JPEGs, two RAWs. There's another way to do this. Let me pick up my camera and I'm going to shoot a photo by hand. And let me take another one. These are the images that I've just taken by using the shutter button on the camera. So basically you've got two ways to capture an image. The first way is by clicking this button over here which says capture image and the second way is taking an image by hitting the shutter button on your camera. Now you might wonder where can I find my pictures? If you go to your users menu in Windows and just to your pictures menu there will be a folder called dark table and the year and then the session and that's where you can find your images and that's it i hope you guys liked it let me know in the comment section down below and i guess there's just one more thing left for me to say which is make love to the like button consider subscribing if you haven't already hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when i drop a new video and until next time doei